Hi, I'm Rob Price, EMS Safety's Program and Resource Director. This teaching by topic is going to be done by John A. Bear, our instructor trainer, who's going to show us how to teach AED use to the class. When the lesson's over, your students should be able to demonstrate proper AED use and understand the importance of clearing before we push the shock button. AEDs are easy to use. Just turn it on and follow the prompts. They can be used on adults, children, and infants. To demonstrate the AED, you'll need an AED trainer and an adult mannequin. When you practice, we recommend setting up your students about three or four for every AED and adult mannequin that you have. Now, let's turn this over to John so we can see how it's done. Hello, I'm John Aber. I'm an instructor with EMS Safety Services, and today we're going to teach you how to properly use an AED. Are you ready? We'll begin. All AEDs are going to follow the same basic sequence, and that is to power on the AED, apply the AED pads, and follow the prompts. It is important to follow those prompts closely. The AED is going to tell you exactly when to do, what to do, and when to do it. You do need to place that AED near the victim's head and power it on. Remove clothing from the patient's chest. Open packet and apply pads onto patient's bare skin. Apply pads as shown in the pictures. We have been directed to apply those pads to the patient's bare skin. If this victim is wearing a shirt or a bra, we're going to obviously need to remove that. Now the best way to do so would be with EMT shears. That's going to be the quickest and easiest. Ideally, there will be another trained rescuer hopefully already performing CPR on this victim, and we don't want to interrupt that CPR, so we're going to work around them to remove that clothing. It is quite possible that this victim was sweating profusely prior to having sudden cardiac arrest, and so we're going to need to make sure that we have a dry surface for those pads. We'll just give them a quick towel off to do that. Open packet and apply pads onto patient's bare skin. All right, we have the chest exposed and we are ready to apply those pads and have been directed to do so by the AED. These pads are going to have diagrams to ensure proper placement. You do need to apply the pads to the upper right chest below the collarbone, like so, and the lower left chest, as we see here. Now, after these pads are applied, the AD is going to direct you not to touch the victim. And it is very important to follow that direction and make sure that yourself and nobody else is touching the victim. It could be a potential safety hazard when that shock is delivered. Apply press pads firmly on skin. Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. All right, everybody clear, clear. Don't touch the victim. Shocking. Press the flashing Clear. button. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. The AED has directed us to begin CPR again. Some AEDs are going to have CPR tutorials. As you heard, the AED is equipped with a metronome. That's going to help us to perform those compressions at the proper rate. AEDs are going to reanalyze this victim every two minutes, or approximately five cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths. CPR is hard to do. Rescuers fatigue quickly. Every two minutes when that AED reanalyzes, that is the perfect time for you to switch roles of the rescuer and take a, take a rest from CPR and let somebody else perform it for a while. Now, with children and infants, there is additional equipment that may be present with the AED. Uh, Maybe AED pediatric pads, a key, or an attenuator. And that's going to reduce the shock that is delivered to a child or an infant victim. For the purposes of AED use, an infant is under one years old, and a child is considered between one and eight years old. Now, if you do not have that pediatric equipment available for you, it is appropriate to use the adult pads. However, you cannot overlap or cut or have those pads touch. And obviously, with a smaller chest, it's going to be impossible to do. If that's the case, you alter, use an alternate pad placement. You can put one pad on the chest of this victim, the other pad on the back, 
draw a straight line from pad to pad, make sure it's going through the heart, and that should be appropriate placement for you. Now we'll repackage the AED and do it in real time. clothing from the patient's chest. Open packet and apply pads onto patient's bare skin. Apply pads as shown in the pictures. Open packet and apply. Press pads firmly on skin. Press pads firmly on skin. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Okay, clear. Clear the, the victim. Patient. Everybody clear. Clear. The flashing shock. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. All right, that is how to properly use an AED. Thank you for joining us. I'm John Aber with EMS Safety Services.